All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to Wildcard Sports. In this episode, we're going over my week six picks. Right now, if we look at the standings, I'm ranked 69,000. I dropped a couple thousand spots. I was in the 60s before. Uh, we still got a nice percentage going, though, 93.5%, 500 points. I'm 50 and 28 on the season. So let's just get right into it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and enjoy the video. Like it if you would... Uh, if you like this video. All right, we're getting right into it. Broncos versus the Chiefs. Should be an easy pick here. Chiefs aren't doing as well as we all expected, but, you know, they're still 4-1 and one at the end of the day. Broncos are just completely terrible. We've got to go Chiefs here no matter what on that one. Um, Ravens, Titans. This is a weird one because Ravens had a bad game against the Steelers last week. Titans are, I don't know, they're up and down, 2-3 record. Um, if you look at the spread here, Titans are the underdog plus four and a half. So Ravens favored on the road. Um, I'd, I might take the Titans spread on this, but it's hard to take the Titans as the overall winner. I do think the Ravens will bounce back and get this W. So I got the Ravens getting that one. Uh, Falcons, Commanders, two teams. I don't know where to go. Overall, I do think Commanders have a better team. 68% uh, of people, though, are picking the Falcons. Um, looking at the spread on this game, um, yeah, Falcons favored by two and a half points, so almost a field goal there. It's hard to take the Falcons, though, to win it. I think it could be a very close game. I'm going to take um, – I'm going to go the opposite here. I'm going to go uh, with the Commanders, get that upset win here on the road. Um, Bears-Vikings, will Justin Fields – Stay hot. The Bears are looking good. DJ Moore looking great. Um, I think they will stay hot. Yes, they are one and four. Um, Vikings just falling apart too. But the funny thing is, Vikings are favored to win this game by two and a half points. Um, so I'm going to go with the underdog here and take the Bears at home, see if they can keep their hot streak, even though they are one and four. But, you know, they're playing well lately. Um, moving on, Bengals, Seahawks. Of course, I'm a 49er fan. So I would love to see the Bengals win this. I do think Bengals are finding their stride. Uh, yes, it was only one week where they played well, uh, really well. Um, I do think they'll keep it up, coming back home. Uh, Seahawks are a tough team. Yes, they're 3-1. and one. They got a, a good young defense, the Seahawks. But I do think Bengals will stick it out, win the game at home. Um, Bengals are favored, I believe but only by three points. A lot of games favored by about two and a half, three points this week. Um, so I'm going to go Bengals on that one just because I do want the Bengals to beat the Seahawks. Uh, my 49ers versus the Cleveland Browns. I mean, Niners looked amazing versus the Cowboys. We destroyed them, absolutely destroyed them. We looked good on all facets. Everything was clicking for the Niners. Um, this could be a weird game for the Niners because we're probably going to take the Browns not as seriously. We're playing on the road. we got to travel to Cleveland. I don't think the Niners are going to uh, lose. I can never go against my Niners, so I'm going to pick them to win, but I don't know. Maybe don't be surprised if this game is closer than you expect. Um, Niners are favored by almost a touchdown. It's at six and a half. Um, Deshaun Watson may not play. I don't think he will play. P.J. Walker would be the backup if Watson does not play. Um, so look for this game to be maybe close, but Niners should get this W. Uh, moving on to the Dolphins, Panthers, easy one. I don't even need to look at the spread. I know by it's double digits, so Dolphins for sure going to beat the Panthers. Um, this one's uh, interesting. Richardson will not play for the Colts. He is out for a while here. Jaguars looking good lately, and uh, we're going to go Jaguars on that one. This is pretty much a pick em game, the Texans-Saints. Um, it's a one and a half spread, I believe. Yeah. Texans are sorry. Saints barely favored by minus one and a half. Uh, I do like the Texans. I like CJ, CJ Stroud. I love the coach D'Amico Ryans. Um, I'm just going to pick the Texans here, even though 71% of America are picking the Saints to win this one. I'm going to go with the Texans on this one to win it at home and get that upset. Patriots Raiders. Pretty bad matchup here. Patriots looked so, so bad. Scored zero points on the Saints. They got shut out. Yes, I do think Patriots could bounce back a little. I don't know if they'll bounce back and win. Raiders did look good. They beat um, they beat the Packers on Monday Night Football. 
And, you know, the, I think Raiders are kind of finding their stride. I'm not saying they're going to be amazing by any means or even make the playoffs, but I got to go Raiders here to beat the Patriots, even though this could be a uh, revenge game for the Patriots. They did lose last time they played the Raiders, but I'm going to go with Raiders again here on this one. And if we look at the spread really quick, Raiders are favored by three points. All right, moving on to the Bucks lions I mean, this is a great matchup, man. No one expected the Bucks to be this good this season. Well, at least I didn't. Uh, lions we kind of expected this. 4-1, solid record here. 85% of America is picking the Lions. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of like the Bucks here at home. Um, looking at the spread, Lions are favored by three. I do think Bucks can get this upset. I, they had a bye week uh, this past week. So a lot of rest. Um, yeah, I, I I think Bucks could get this. I'm gonna go with the upset here and take the Bucks at home. Um, uh, Cardinals Rams division game. Um, you know I would love the Cardinals to win this one just because Rams have a better record. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter who wins, but I want Cardinals to win. I don't think they will. Rams will get this one at home, at SoFi Stadium. Um, Eagles Jets. This would have been a solid matchup, but uh, it's hard to go. It's hard to say the Jets would win. I do think they'll put up a nice fight here. It could be closer. So Eagles favored by seven. I would probably bet Jets plus seven if I was going to bet on this game. Maybe Jets plus seven and a half. Uh, but I got to go Eagles to beat the Jets here. Uh, Giants Bills. I mean, the Giants are one of the worst teams I've watched this season. So Bills all the way there. Um. And then we got Monday Night Football. This is going to be a really good matchup to watch, a fun one to watch. After that beating the Cowboys took from the Niners last week, will Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys bounce back and uh, beat you know the Chargers? Kellen Moore going up against his old team. How will Herbert do with Kellen Moore against the Cowboys? I definitely want the Chargers to win. Um, sure, Cowboys can win, but I'm going to pick Chargers no matter what here. Um, I'm sure, yeah, Cowboys are favored by two, minus two, but I do think Chargers could win this game. Um, but I, I'm sure Cowboys are going to come back with a vengeance because it was pretty embarrassing for them last week. They're going to try to prove to America that they're not that bad. Um, but I got to pick Chargers. I can't pick Cowboys in this situation. But I want to hear from you guys. You guys agree with me, disagree with me on these picks. I'm sure you do. Um, so I'm going to scroll back up. Here are my picks. Um, a few upsets here. Like I said, I took the Bucks as an upset pick. Texans upset pick. Um, I think that's it as far as my upsets. Oh, Bears was an upset pick. Um, Commanders, I believe. Command, Yeah, Commanders, my upset pick. So we got a few there. Um, but those are my picks. Let's see if we uh, have a good week here. I want to hear your guys' picks in the comments. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel. We're growing every week, and uh, we're doing this every week. So see you guys on the next video. Enjoy week six. Peace.